Welcome back guys, in this video tutorial I am going to show you the setup of a sensor that is TMD26721. In this previous videos we have seen working of different digital sensors. Uh, for this video I will be showing the working of proximity TMD26721 sensor. It's a member of TMD26721 family which provides complete proximity detection system and digital interface logic in a single 8-pin surface mount module. Now let's move on to our website that is controleverything.com and here searching for this sensor that is TMD26721 and let's see what we got. So it's an infrared digital proximity detector I2C mini module and these are some of its features as you can see. You can purchase this sensor from here as you can see and add to cart. And I will be interfacing uh, the proximity detector TMD26721 with the BeagleBone uh, Beagle Black and for that I will be requiring the C code and to get that go to the source tab and here comes the C code sample as you can see and you can download the C code sample as a zip file from here. Also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Well now we want to make some connections for the hardware and let's see. Coming to the hardware connection setup, first of all the requirement is the BeagleBone Black which you can see on my screen and this here is an I2C shield. It is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make easier connections with other I2C devices. So for that we have to gently place this I2C shield over the BeagleBone Black and make a connection like this. Now we need our sensor that's the proximity detector sensor. TMD26721 and this is a connecting cable. I make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be detected, uh, connected especially to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Now we want to power up the BeagleBone Black and for that there are two things we require and first of all we need a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over this jack right here. And second, we need an adapter of 5 volt supply and gently put it over this power jack. Now the last part is to provide an internet connection and there are two ways. First of all, an ethernet cable or LAN cable can be used and gently insert it over this, an ethernet jack. The other thing we can also use is a wireless nano USB adapter in case if we don't have the first one. So these are the connections we need. So what do we require next is a code, C code and let's interface it with that. Now for the interfacing part first of all we require to have a look over the code and to get there we have to log into github.com and after that we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and then we have to search here for the sensor as you can see 26721 20md and here it comes and this is the C code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. Here we need to set up and connect the BeagleBone Black and the relevant information is provided on the link that is BeagleBone.org. After that we have to download or git pull the code in BeagleBone Black and uh, this is the command to compile the C code and this is to run the C code. Note it down carefully. And then get back to C code and where you observe that .c is the extension file and in the code you notice that some of the libraries header files we have included here. In the void main function, we have created an I2C bus as you can see and we have uh, going to check that whether the bus is there or not. Then we are going to observe for the I2C device and the address of the sensor that is 0x39. Now coming to the writing section, here we are going to select proximity time register 0x02 or with command register 0x80 and we are going to send the command for p time equal to 2.72 ms that is 0xff. Then here we have the writing command. After that we are going to select wait time register having address 0x03 or with command register 0x80 and we are going to send the command for w time equal to 2.72 ms that is 0xff. Writing command is here. After that uh, we are going to select the pulse count register 0x08 or with command register 0x80 and we are going to select uh, the sending the command for pulse count equal to 32 that is 0x20 and this is the writing command of this part. Uh, after that uh, we are going to select control register 0x0f or with command register 0x80 and here we are going to send the command for 100 milliampere LED strength 
proximity uses channel 1 diode P gain and A gain are 1x each and that is 0x to 0. Writing command for this part is here. In the last writing command we are going to select enable register 0x00 or with command register 0x80 and we are going to send the command to set power on proximity and weight enable that is 0x0t and this is the writing command for this part. Then we have a delay or sleep of 1 second. After that we have the reading section where we are going to read 2 bytes of data from the register 0x18 or with command register 0x80 and it's the proximity data and these are the commands here. And this here is the conversion of the data for the proximity data takes place which is according to the guidelines and the details provided in the data sheet of the sensor TMD26721. At the very end of our code, we have to display the output data onto the screen which you can see as the proximity of the device. So this is the end of our code. Now what do we require is to have a look over the working of this code which is the practicality to check. Let's have it. Coming to the working section, uh, the first step is to copy this entire code and let's see what we got here and then we have to open up the terminal for the Beaglebone Black and here we have to create a new file with .c extension and after that we have to paste the code and then at last we have to save it. Now this is the command as you can see on my screen. Uh, this is for the compilation process and you have already seen this command and let's see the compilation is successful. Now to build the code this is the command and let's see what we got here. We have the proximity of the device which is 0. But when I bring some surface ob object over the sensor and bring closer to the sensor, you can see the proximity of the device increasing and it's the maximum value. So this is how the sensor works. And let's have a look over the applications and the benefits of this sensor. So we have just seen the working of TMD26721 infrared digital proximity detector I2C mini module. Uh, the benefits and the features of this sensor are digital proximity detector, LED driver and our IR LED in a single optical module along with register set and pin compatible with the entire series. It has a reduced proximity count variation, saturation indicator, has a high dynamic range like 16000 ratio 1, it has a maskable proximity interrupt, has a good power management it has a i2c fast mode compatible interface and it is used being in a lot of applications like mobile handset touch screen control and automatic speakerphone enable mechanical switch replacement paper alignment and the end products and the market segments include mobile handsets white goods toys digital signage printing this sensor is available on our website controleverything.com as you can see and go to the resource tab for the required code. You can also have the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. So it's a simple infrared proximity detector sensor and that is an easy way to get it set up. So I just thought that I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that you are left without fully understanding. If you have any queries regarding this, you can contact us on controleverything.com and post your comments on the community page. You can have a look over the instructions, the articles and a lot more on our instructables.com page. If you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoyed this and you have a good one for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.